Kevin, when you, when you kind of look at offensively, not just being able to get going, but to get going with pace tonight, just how important do you feel like that was for you, both for tonight and for moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I give these guys a lot of credit because they came in, you know, obviously after a really tough outing at, at Nova, and they gave, they gave me two great days of practice. Um, I mean, really intense. We practiced yesterday for almost three hours, which is I never do a before a game. But um, we just talked a lot about just flowing into offense a little bit better. And we also talked about just we, we need to press a little bit more aggressive to create some easy buckets. And I thought, you know, when you when you get a couple easy buckets early, it just it gives you a little bit more confidence, and you're able to kind of wear them down a little bit. And I thought we did a good job in the first half of kind of really just getting them on their heels. So it, it was good to see the ball go in early, to be honest with you. Okay. I didn't know if you had a follow up. But Coach uh, Ferry was saying that he thought you guys were really highly, motiv highly motivated coming in after the Villanova game. How much was that a message to the team, you know, after the rebound after that? Performance? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I'm still trying to get used to everything. But like, I, I had no worries. I, we played bad. Nova played good. Um, I was I was really excited. I think the guys were really excited about just coming and playing at home. We've put, we played the, we played the least amount of Power Five home games of anybody in the country. So um, I thought it was important looking at this stretch. And this is what I talked to the team at, after Nova was like, Hey, we got we have a 12 game stretch where we're home. We got to take advantage of that going into Big Ten play. And um, the way they came and practiced the last two days, it just gave me a lot of confidence. I was going to ask you about that coming back home. You had mentioned at Villanova that you were looking forward to coming back here. Did you feel like it was sort of therapeutic for for the team as a whole? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's it's why we got off to such a great start last year. Was we had four home games where I was able to work through a whole lot of issues with the team, um, and we were able to sit there and practice and watch. Like you know, tomorrow we get to watch film for an hour, and then we get to practice and. Um, well, we, I can learn, I can show all the, the young guys and new guys what they're doing wrong. When you play three games in six days, you don't have that opportunity. You just don't. So, um, and I think the guys were excited about coming home and, and playing at home. Um, so there's something to be said about, you know, getting in the rhythm and being at home. And I, th I think it, w it really helped us. And so much has been made about the offense, but defensively tonight, you guys really, really turned them over. Uh, is this what you imagine what this team looks like? Yeah, I mean, I think we still have a long way to go defensively. I we're obviously way ahead than we are offensively. Uh, but, I, again, I mean, we had pressed 96 times in the game before this, and we had, we had turned teams over 33 times. That, that's a crazy stat. Our problem is that we haven't been able to score and we haven't been able to capitalize off those turnovers. So we haven't been able to press four or five times in a row where we might give up a layup, we might give up an open three at times, but it wears teams down. And if, you, if you're constantly worried about it, you have to go against it. it just, it's a mental thing. And for us, it just gives us opportunities to get out and get easy shots. With it being such a point of emphasis, how pleased were you with only giving up six points off of turnovers? Yeah, it helps when you don't give it to the other team, you know. And uh, you know, I think I think our first four turnovers were offensive fouls, two moving screens, two charges. Um, we've talked a lot about just make, if we're going to turn it over, throw it into the stands, or it has to be an aggressive turnover. The four turnovers against UAB that led to eight points was really the difference in the game. Um, we did the same thing against Davidson. Um, Nova really took us out of our offense, so. I think these guys are starting to understand. Again, the three older guys get it. But when you have so many new guys that haven't played, getting them to understand one turnover leading to a fast break layup, the difference that makes in a game, that just doesn't happen after one game. It, it takes four, five, six games. And they're learning. They're starting to understand it a little bit. And what does it mean for you to be able to get Ben into a game like that when he works so hard in practice? And yeah, Ben's awesome, one? man. Ben's one of the I mean, best walk-ons I've ever had. I mean, um, I actually have a lot of confidence. I, I would have no problem putting him in a game, to be perfectly honest with you. That's how much he helps us in practice. That's how much uh, he gets after it. So um, if, I ever, if I ever got in a jam and I needed him to play, I actually would have a tremendous amount of confidence in him. 
Uh, Kevin, not just coming home, but also you know growing that lead so early in the first half, um, getting ten players to play ten minutes. You mentioned it taking a while for them to start to understand, but you know this is the experience that really helps them do that. What was it like to be able to see that before you get into Big Ten play? Well, I think more than anything, it's it's important for us. You know, we have ten more days before we play. I think Indiana. Um, I I know where this team's going to be by middle of December, end of December. So like I I have great confidence in the team we're going to be and what we're going to do. So um, getting those, getting our bench guys extended minutes is huge because it gives them a chance to play without extreme pressure. Um, and it's really hard when you're a freshman, uh, you're a guy that hasn't played a lot of minutes before and you're a sophomore, to have to now come in and, and, and play and play at a high level when you haven't done it a whole lot. Is that it? Phenomenal. Oh. Hi, Coach. Um, you talked a little bit after Villanova about finding that fifth guy in the starting lineup. Say you put Jordan in there. What does he do that complements the other four that just helps that starting lineup? I think the, the biggest thing for me was is Jordan defensively really helps that group. Uh, with Jamie and Deshaun out there, offensively we're probably better, but defensively we become a real liability. And so since we're struggling so bad offensively, I just wanted to go with a group that I knew that I had a lot of confidence defensively. And Jordan really does help us in so many different ways defensively. So it kind of frees up Dante a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, he protects Jameer. So he, he's, he's a guy that really fits well in the fact that I have a lot of confidence in him defensively. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Did you have one more